Welcome to part two of Sonic Fan Comics, ladies and gentlemen. And this may be a little out of character for Sally Acorn, but She's been getting the shaft of late. Now, this comic takes place in, in the writing room. Where they discuss ideas for the next comic. here Rouge gets in trouble for a double entendre an unintended double entendre but still and who wouldn't have liked to have seen a crossover with the Ninja Turtles and there already has been a crossover with Capcom. And... Sure enough, Sonic is, in fact, the head writer. Now we come to a cosplay contest. And if you can't tell already, Sonic is dressed as Tom Wachowski, the human ally from the movie. who reprises his role in Sonic 2. And to get it just adjust my seat there. And then um a little bit of trivia. The voice of Sally Acorn in the Saturday Morning Cartoon was also the voice of Lola Bunny in Space Jam. The, the first Space Jam, not Space Jam reboot. And down here we have Bunny dressed as J. Hops. Over here we have Vanilla and Cream dressed as Princess Daphne from Dragon's Lair. Then, in case you missed it, Amy's um, Isabel from Animal Crossing and Tails the uh, Kitsune Natch. Rotor is a Ghostbuster and um, Blaze is Raven from Teen Titans. And kind of appropriate that Silver the Hedgehog 
is dressed as Marty McFly. With um, Shadow dressed as Bruce Lee. And um, Rouge is supposed to be Pamela Anderson, of course. Here's Styx dressed as Retzko. Knuckles dressed as He-Man. And you probably don't remember Agent Topaz from Sonic X, but here she is dressed as Batgirl. Here are a couple other characters from Sonic X. Sam Speed is Maverick from Top Gun. Chris Sarndyke as Link from Legend of Zelda. Um, can't remember the name of the game. Anyhow, Sonic wins the contest and he can't believe it. So, um, he puts his winning cosplay and the first place certificate in a, um, box frame, hangs it up on a wall next to nods to the previous stories. And, um, shoot. Not gonna lie, I had to look up a photo of the actor who played Tom Wachowski, James Marsden, on Google just so I could draw a caricature of him. And since I'd opened this collection with a wrestling story, thought I'd end it with another wrestling story. This time it's Sally versus Big. And she's kind of on the losing end of the match. He does let her have a little bit of fun. And I think Sonic has every right to be concerned for the Tubby Tabby. Still... The two are having a good time. And here's the usual disclaimer. And the back cover. Well, there you have it. Let me know what you think in the comments.